have an industry presentation by Brijesh Kohli, Vice President, Zebia Academy, Head of Education Program. May I please requ request Brijesh Kohli on the stage, please. Brijesh Kohli is the trailblazer behind the successful educational program launched by Zebia in 2016 for ac academic institution worldwide. He has also catapulted the success of Zebia in the IT upskilling industry and also building Zebia Academy, an edtech business of Zebia. At Zebia, he is working towards revolutionizing the future of university students with his solution oriented approach. We are really looking forward to the presentation, sir. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so it's it's so I'm not going to bore you, and uh, the photograph that you saw me uh, saw just now that's me only. So it's just I have shaved myself just to kind of make sure that I don't look odd. But uh, glad to be here, and thank you very much uh, to the team Elets for inviting us uh, and participate in this conference. Quite excited to come back to Chennai after a long gap. I think two two and a half years. All the travel in the industry has been almost frozen. We couldn't travel, but super excited to see and meet people now. So um, uh, firstly, congratulations to all the award winners. Uh, uh, feels good to be amongst this community. Um, I, I don't know how many of you have heard about Zebia before, but let me take this opportunity to introduce uh, who we are, what we do, what is our purpose in the higher education space. Um, so we are quite successful up in north. I mean, our partnership with a lot of universities have been very successful. Uh, and over the last you know, few years, we've been majorly focused because we are a North-based uh, company. We have operations in Bangalore, Hyderabad, and we recently opened, up, opened an office in Chennai as well. Uh, but let me uh, you know, take this opportunity to kind of uh, give you a quick walkthrough of uh, who we really are. So Zebia is a Dutch company. We are headquartered in Netherlands, so it's a, it's a European firm. Uh, we also recently moved our global headquarter to At Atlanta, US. Uh, these are, you know, the different knowledge chapters that we have as an organization. So we are a pure play technology uh, services company. We do digital consulting, software development, and uh, education. That's one of the other business that we run. Uh, Zebia Academy, the business that I uh, manage, uh, is basically the edtech business of Zebia Group, uh, particularly focusing on upskilling, reskilling, uh, primarily with the enterprises, higher education institutions to really build talent across digital technologies. So whatever we do as part of our organization is focused on digital technologies. So we bring all the latest and the greatest of technologies, which is there right now and the future of IT. So we wanted to bring that to, you know, obviously our enterprise customers who are constantly looking forward to upgrade their people. So we help them in upskilling their workforce on various tech stacks. Then one of the other charter that we started way back in 2016 is our Academic Alliance program. So the Academic Alliance program is particularly focused on the academic side of it, which is mostly on the universities and higher education institutions, uh, primarily with an intent to bridge the industry and academic gap. So we've been very successful in the last few years of whatever partnership we had uh, to basically help students get industry aligned. One of the biggest challenge as an industry organization that we have seen and felt over many years is that students who are you know, coming out of colleges, uh, they're taking a lot of time to actually become production ready. That's, I mean, if you talk to any IT organization, any senior level executives in an organization, the biggest problem for everybody is talent. Uh, I mean, and when I say talent, uh, employable talent. It's not that we don't produce uh, talent. I mean, today we produce almost like 1.6 million graduates every year. But if you look at uh, you know, the unemployability rate in our country, that would probably answer a lot of questions. And the reason why we are facing this challenge is because the students who are graduating out of colleges, they really are taking a lot of time to really get hands on. And when we started this business, the first objective was to focus on the areas where we really want students to be uh, you know, developed. And that's what we started with the university up in North. So, I'll, so these are, you know, some of the, uh, you know, technologies on which we support, um, you know, agile transformation. So we are the pioneers in the agile and scrum domain. So we work, uh, you know, with all different scrum frame, agile frameworks such as scaled agile, scrum alliance. So we have more than 50 uh, technology partnerships with uh, large technology companies like Microsoft, Amazon, 
uh, you know, IBM, so on and so forth. And these are, you know, the technologies. So Zebia is uh, present globally. So we are a team of about uh, 5,600 technology professionals. We are almost like $400 million in terms of our organization revenue. Uh, we are present worldwide, US, UK, Germany, Poland, India, Dubai, Australia, Vietnam. We have team all across the globe and we are expanding. We recently acquired another company in Chennai uh, called Netlink which is a low-code uh, company uh, focusing on out-systems. So low-code is another emerging technology focusing on software development. How do you really uh, foster your software development process, bring more efficiencies to your software development process? So low-code platforms like Appian, Mendix, out-systems are really gaining a lot of traction. Other than that, I mean, uh, uh, you know, these are the brands that we own. I mean, uh, most of these companies uh, specialize into different technologies. Uh, for example, Go Data Driven, that's focusing on data and AI practice. PGS is on the product development side of it. Uh, I mean, Zebia in the last two years have grown exponentially. I mean, we acquired seven companies in 2021, and we are targeting to do another seven more acquisitions this year. So we're growing very aggressively in different tech stacks. So uh, quite exciting to see. So Zebia Academy, like I said, it's the digital learning partner. Uh, we have trained 1.1 million students worldwide. Uh, these are the different technologies uh, on which we work, Microsoft, AWS. Um, we have delivered trainings globally, and these are the seven domains on which we do trainings, or education, which is agile and scrum, uh, data and AI, cloud, security, DevOps. So what we do here is we actually uh, you know, help students understand and work on these technologies. So that's, that's our charter. Um, our academic alliance program, like I said, started in 2016. So if you look at some of the logos that we could fit in here, uh, these are all, uh, you know, some of these premium universities up in north that are working with us, uh, primarily, uh, you know, running the integrated courses. So what we have done is we have actually uh, integrated different specializations in the areas of DevOps and SRE, cloud, full stack, AI, as part of the university curriculum itself. Our journey actually started in 2016 with a university called UPES. And uh, the whole thing started with while we were hiring students. So Zebia is also one of the hiring partner for many private universities and institutions in our country. And when we were hiring students, uh, you know, the biggest challenge uh, that we were observing was that students were taking a lot of time, right? And while we were doing that, you know, we were struggling. There were cost impact, there were, you know, delays in actually initiating the projects. So what we did was we sat with the university, uh, you know, professors and faculty members, basically to chalk out what is that we want to achieve as part of this partnership. And the result was two specializations that we started with them. One was on DevOps, which stands for Software Development and IT Operations. These are two different teams that works in the organization. And DevOps is basically an integration of both these uh, teams to basically bring more efficiencies in the process, bring more, uh, you know, reliability in the software that were developed. So we started with these two specialization, and the biggest hurdle when we started was that we actually, we, could, we couldn't figure out how to really think like an acad academician, because Zebia being a technology company had nothing to do with academics before we even started our partnership with UPS. We struggled initially, but then we were very fortunate that we actually got the right faculty members. We flew almost like 30, 35 faculty members from UPS to our office in Delhi and Bangalore so that they can actually sit with the practitioners from the organization, learn from them, and then go back and teach the student because the challenge initially was that we cannot send our consultants in the universities to teach like a professor because these are uh, you know practitioners and obviously a lot of people don't really have an interest to kind of uh, work in the, uh, you know, academic uh, uh, way of working. So we went ahead uh, and trained the faculty from UPS on these technologies. We created, uh, you know, a very robust curriculum. So we always wanted to make sure that whatever we do has to be gold standard. And that's where, you know, we invested a lot of money in creating a world-class content. So we created e-books for the students. And these e-books actually gave students everything that they need to know for that particular technology. Then we brought in some platforms to basically host that content, which is through our learning management system. Now, over the over last few years, we have now emerged and uh, modernized our content, our curriculum, 
which helps students to interact with our training so that they can actually learn. And that's where we are bringing in platforms to help them learn how to code, learn how to work on different kinds of projects. We bring a lot of industry problem statements to the universities now so that student gets more hands-on learning experience rather than just going through a digital content or probably working through some of those training programs. Most of the time, we kind of focus on applying these concepts to the real-time projects. So that's what we do. So worked very pretty well. I mean, uh, the other, while we were actually working with universities, we realized that there's a need to kind of further get more deeper into, you know, the curriculum, you know, the internship models or the placements. All of that we did, and we now have a successful partnership with 18 large universities in India. Uh, the KPR Institute of Engineering and Technology, Dr. Akila Ma'am is here. Uh, that's one of our, uh, you know, first partner university in South, and we are very happy, you know, to have this collaboration. Um, so these are the five pillars on which Zebia works, uh, which includes, uh, you know, enabling university with these industry technologies, uh, empower students, uh, you know, with the industry interfaces. We also bring uh, a lot of industry exposure for students in the form of projects, uh, you know, hands-on learning platforms. Uh, bringing in tech talks, you know, from the practitioners, from Zebia, and from the industry who are very passionate about, you know, helping students really learn. Uh, faculty development programs, this is another very important aspect of our collaboration with universities. We want to make sure that faculties are also aligned to, you know, the industry practices because uh, Zebia alone cannot uh, run this battle without the faculty. So, at, so we have two sides of the coin. One is student and the other one is faculty. So we have invested a lot of money and obviously efforts to basically help students become industry ready. At the same time, faculty also learn and, and align to these technologies. Job readiness, that's another very critical aspect. A lot of students really look up to, you know, how is Zevia helping organize, you know, students to get access to best in class jobs. And as an industry body, we have seen, uh, you know, a lot of our partners and customers coming back to us asking, can you please help me provide access you know, to the students who are part of Zebia Academic Alliance program. So we're bringing that to pretty much all technology companies. We work very closely with AWS, you know, where we are bringing in opportunities for students to work in the cloud domain. Similarly, we have opportunities with Appian and many others. So these partnerships are much strategic in helping students and faculty members to get jobs. So these are, you know, the different specializations that we run. Uh, I mean, our specialization runs for undergraduate students, postgraduate students. We even have short-term courses, particularly for students who are in the semester five, six, maybe just before they are hitting the placements, we can help them kind of learn some of these technologies. Our integrated courses runs on a longer engagement, starting from semester one or maybe semester three, and goes all the way down to semester seven. Uh, and during this semester, th uh, five or six semesters, we help students learn these technologies. And there are different kinds of engagement that happen. So we are at the input during the admission process and at the exit while the student comes out of that university. So these are some specializations. We run these different specializations with different universities. Um, our focus uh, is quite extensive on the academic side of it because that's where the real uh, charm is obviously these partnerships are not new industry and academic partnerships have been there for years now what we really wanted to focus on was on the how we really help students uh, you know become employable and that's where you know we bring in agile culture so in many of the universities what we have done is we have set up agile labs agile classrooms so agile classrooms are very similar to you know how you are sitting today which is these round tables and you don't have barriers you don't really break that chain and it's more interactive. So these agile classrooms help students, uh, you know, uh, work like a team. And, and that's where, you know, these students are, are becoming quite productive. Mentorship program, we have practitioners from Zebia helping students, uh, you know, work on different technologies. So each student or a group of students get access to some of these industry mentors who constantly monitor them, guide them, and build them towards these digital technologies. Uh, job assistance, internship placements, these are all part of our association. Obviously, we take ownership to help getting jobs for students. Obviously, we don't guarantee because ultimately, by the end of the day, student has to focus on it. So we bring all those opportunities for the students, industry projects or case studies or, 
you know, problem statements, all that is part of this. And then obviously our learning management system, which hosts all the content and the information that we have. Um, our, our focus has largely been on the experiential learning approach, and that's where you know students really learn. Uh, we have our own uh, learning platform called Instruct, where students are given access to a virtual learning environment. And these are you know virtual IT labs where students can play around with those different challenges. They can work on those challenges and then probably solve some of those problem statements. This really this greatly emphasizes on you know how students can apply whatever they have learned to their real time projects. Uh, knowledge repository, Zebia, uh, you know, our, our core value is knowledge sharing, and uh, we want to share whatever we have learned, whatever knowledge assets we have. So we try to bring all those knowledge assets to, you know, our, our the student community across India. And then obviously mentorship, we assign mentors. We, we, we not just only focus on the hard skill, but also on the soft skills. So for us, it's not just that students are technically very high. We also want to make sure that they are also um, you know, focused on the soft skills aspect as well. So this is just a quick glimpse of, you know, our learning management system, how it looks. So we have uh, broken the curriculum. So these are the different eBooks on which we run, which, host, which is hosted on our learning management system. Um, this is just a quick example of some of the eBooks that we provide as part of our courses. These are some of the knowledge repository that's there uh, within Zebia, which is written by our, uh, you know, uh, practitioners, uh, you know, from India, US, Middle East, everywhere. Um, these are, you know, some of the people uh, that are part of Zebia. These are, we have, you know, talent across India, Netherlands, everywhere. So we have people who do a lot of training as well. Uh, we have actually formed a group of people within Zebia who are passionate about trainings and wants to kind of take that as part of an additional responsibility. So those are, you know, the trainers. Um, we also, you know, towards the end of the program, once the student graduate, we want to recognize their credentials by giving them digital badges. So we offer them uh, e-credentials, which is, uh, you know, if you look at right here, and these are, you know, um, uh, given to students at different instances. We run hackathons, ideathons, blogathons, uh, basically to bring that industry inclination uh, for students. Um, our learning methodologies, I mean, there are different ways of delivering uh, the information, which is through our e-learning model or through virtual classrooms or live classrooms. I mean, a lot, for a lot of universities, they are now going into the classrooms and doing regular classes with students. Obviously, the model works a little differently than how we're doing it uh, typically in, an, uh, in a university setup. Uh, one last slide, since my time is over. Um, Zebia Innovation Lab, very interesting uh, concept, uh, you know, and the whole idea uh, for the innovation lab is to basically help students, uh, you know, get real hands-on. And this is where, you know, how we are doing it for some with some of our university partner where we have set up these center of excellence or these innovation labs within the university and we work on open source community. So we are not kind of very rigid on, you know, bringing in any particular software or any hardware. We work on open source, so we bring all the uh, different technologies that are available in the industry and students really need to learn. So we are going to be neutral to all those technologies. And we bring, you know, different concepts of innovation and research. In fact, for some of our university partners, we have, we have sponsored PhD students who can actually help the other student pool in the university uh, to kind of uh, work on these technologies. Uh, product engineering approach, so we also want to uh, help students build products, applications, and different kinds of software so that they can actually learn it. So those are some of the uh, concepts. Uh, incubation center, I mean, we have done that with one of the university up in north, uh, and that's working beautifully. Um, experiential learning, consulting services, we have already talked about. So, uh, I mean, over the last five, six years, you know, we have also learned how to really implement some of these technologies as part of the university setup because universities or institutions works very differently than how uh, ac uh, you know, industry works. But one of the good thing is that academics and the institution today are very flexible, very dynamic. And, and that really has given us the motivation to bring some of these technology concepts or these frameworks to help students learn and acquire because the academics or the institution community also have realized that without industry, academics will also, students will not, will not reach where they, where they should be uh, once they go through these kind of engagements. So uh, I think that's working brilliantly. Um, you know, we have different kinds of engagement programs, campus ambassadors and 
tech talks, quarterly newsletter. In our publications, we let students and faculty members to publish a lot of journals, and we are sharing that information with the world, with all our customers, all our partners. Uh, we do give students a platform to do different kinds of uh, you know, uh, interventions. They can present their thought leadership, they can present their articles, everything. So that's um, you know, one of the platform, coding platform that we bring, which uh, particularly focusing on helping students learn the best practices for coding. Um, we also have knowledge channels. Uh, we also run our own higher education summit, which is particularly focused on uh, the higher education community, bringing in the senior academicians, leaders, education leaders, uh, talk about what's happening in the digital space, what's, what's, what are the best practices being done at the university. We also have an upcoming event in Delhi NCR, Agile NCR. So if any one of you are interested to join that event, please do write to me and I'll send you some complimentary passes. Uh, it's basically a, a very renowned India's largest conference for Agile community and you'll probably see all Agile leaders or Agile coaches participating in that. Dev theory that focuses on the software development and the software engineering practices. So we run some of these events as part of our larger strategy for contributing to the community. And thank you. And if you have any questions, feel free. Uh, we have a booth here. Happy to talk and so. Yes, sir. No, inside the campus, sir. Inside the campus. So we will be setting up kind of a research center, uh, you know, and within the campus we'll set up Zebia labs, and then we will be bringing some of these, uh, you know, technologies or uh, some of these practices to be a part of the university. And then we will obviously work very closely with the universities in running this because this is only for the universities or the institution specifically. Thank so you please. so much, sir, for running us through the major highlights of Zebia and how Zebia is doing wonderful across the world. May I please request Professor Pawan Kumar, Director, Indian Institute of Management, Tiruchirappalli, to please come on the stage and give memento to Brijesh Kohli, Vice President, Zebia Academy. Thank you so much, sir.